Hello again, everybody. Uh, today we are going to block some ads. Uh, so what we need to do first is we need to open up WinSCP, Cyberduck for all you folks that have uh, Mac computers. And then we're going to go ahead and log in. Uh, you guys notice I probably saved my log in, or my save my sessions. Um, much easier to um, log in that way, just a little quicker and faster. Uh, to save it, you just go to Sessions. Once you get WinSCP opened up, you go to Sessions, and then you'll see a tab where you can save session, and then you go ahead and just click that. And you can even save the password if you want, much quicker to log in that way. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace a host file. Uh, now the host file is located in the private ver, I'm sorry, the private etc folder. And what we'll do is we'll get to that folder. Uh, if we go to our little drop down menu here, I'll make sure you guys can see that. Uh, we'll go down here to private. Sorry if you guys can't see too well, my battery's dying here, but I'm trying to get this video done for you. All right, so we go to private and then we see ver right there and then we see etc right there. So we'll go into the etc one. What we're gonna do is replace the hosts file. So we just look for the hosts file, which as you can see, I don't have one in there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, just a note, really quick. Uh, a few of Boss, Big Boss's um, apps won't run properly if you have this host file installed. So what he'll basically tell you to do is, if you want to run his application, you have to get rid of your host file. Uh, if that happens, just go ahead and replace it because even if it's there, like mine's there, but it's not active. Uh, so what we can do is right-click on it and delete it out. You guys can also make a backup if you want. Not much of a reason to because it regenerates if you do uh, delete it, but if you want to make a backup just rename it host.back and you can rename it by right clicking on it and then selecting the rename option. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our hosts file that you downloaded that was in the video description uh, the link was in the video description and you're just going to drop it off in that uh, folder that we have there. So I'm clicking on my desktop because I know it's there. And it's a very small file so it only takes a second to, to get across there. So there it is, hosts, I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to copy it on over. And easiest way to do that is just grab it and drag it. So I'm going to grab it, drag it over there. And then it's going to ask me if I want to copy it. Yes, I do. And then we will see that it's done copying. And then you guys can see it right in there. It's uh, 40,261 is the size. The default size is like 236. So you'll know you have the right host file um, if you see that 40,000. Sometimes it's going to say 38,000 too. Uh, there's a couple of these host files going around that are no good anymore. Uh, the one in the video description should be good. Uh, if for some reason it doesn't work for you guys, uh, let me know and I'll post a new one. Uh, so that's how we block ads. That'll help with the ads in uh, some of the applications that you guys have. And then it's also going to help with some of the ads that pop up during Safari when you're surfing around. Uh, it doesn't block them all, but it will block most of them. Uh, any questions? Give me a call, guys.